Hi, welcome to my quick run-through of Micro Space Empire, which is a free print-and-play game you can find on BoardGameGeek. So let's see how the setup starts off here. So we're going to start with metal production of plus one, storage of zero, see there, uh, wealth production of plus one and storage of zero, and a military strength of zero. Uh, and we have no technologies researched yet, we can upgrade those with these cubes later on. We have a dice to roll for when we conquer planets. And then we start off with this home world here. Uh, which gives us plus one metal, plus one wealth, which is what we've got set up for our production over there. Now, we have uh, systems to conquer here, three distant systems and seven near systems. They're shuffled up. And then we have an event deck, which are things that will happen to us during the course of the game. So the game uh, is in four phases. The first phase is the explore attack, or conquer or bide time phase. So we can choose to explore a near system, we can choose to try and conquer um, an already explored system, which we haven't got any at the moment, or we can just bide time, which means we just skip this phase, basically. So this is the first phase of the first round. We will have a look to see what we get. So we've got Procyon, which is, uh, has a resistance of 7. I don't know if you can see that there. And if we conquer it, we'll get plus 1 wealth, and it's worth 1 victory point. And you'll see here it's a near system with a little black dot there indicates that. So, to conquer this, we need to roll a 7. Now, obviously, our dice only goes up to 6. That's the 6 side. When we have military strength, that will add to our roll. So, if I had a military strength of 1, for example, and I rolled a 6, I'll be able to beat that. But there's no point rolling now, because I'm not going to be able to beat a 7 with a dice roll of 6. So, this effectively is not conquered. Let's go sideways over here to indicate that we haven't beaten it. Um, it's a, an explored system which we don't own. So that is the first phase. The second phase is our income. So we're on plus one metal production, so storage of metal goes up by one. P plus one production of wealth, storage goes up by one. Uh, now you'll note that these ones are off limits at the moment. We have to buy interstellar banking, which is one of the uh, technologies, there it is down there. We have to buy that later on. Once we have three wealth, we can buy that. But we only have plus one wealth at the moment. Um, and we have no military strength. And what I think we should do is get some military strength. So this brings us on to phase three. Phase three, we can uh, do military research or we can research our technologies. What we're going to do is get some military. So what we do is we spend one metal and one wealth and we gain one military. Um, now I could then do a technology upgrade, but obviously I can't afford it as I have no wealth left. So that'll be it for now. Then phase four, we have an event to come up. If I can pick an event card up here. So what do we have here? A small invasion force against the last empire system that uh, I conquered. Now as we have none conquered, this doesn't actually have any effect at the moment. Uh, but if we did, then we would roll the dice and... Um, whatever the dice roll, plus one for year one, which is what we're in, uh, that would be the attack. And if that was greater than or equal to the resistance of the system, then that system would become unaligned and we'd lose any bonuses that it gives us. So that has no effect, which is quite nice. Um, or incidentally, when we deal this deck out, we should have dealt out one to discard for the round for the year. So we'll pop a random one under there. There we are, that's better. I should have done that set up. So we're back to the beginning of the phase now. So we've done all the phases and we're on the next round. So we will explore another system and see if we get something better. Ah, resistance of five. That's more like it. So I might be able to get that. I've got plus one military, which means I need to roll four or higher to beat this one. So let's roll the dice. A four. There we go. Four plus the one military, five equals the resistance, we defeat it. And this one gives us plus one metal. So our, in our production goes up by one for metal. Okay, that's phase one done. Phase two is income. Two metal. Look at that. Bing, bing. Still only one wealth, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to spend those, both of those, to upgrade my military. So one of each. I'll upgrade the military by one. Still can't afford to do any research on technologies yet. Okay, we come to the event phase. What do we get? A it's a revolt against the system with least resistance, which is 
our one we've only one we've conquered so far. So we'll have to in year run one, which we're in, we will have to roll the dice, add one to it, and then if that's equal to that or higher, then we'll lose it. Let's see what happens with the dice roll. A five, so that's a six. That becomes unaligned, and we lose our plus one metal, which we only just gained. Very annoying. Let's see what happens now. Shall we explore another re uh, near system? Or should we try and conquer that? I think we're going to try and reconquer that one. Because we have a military of two now. So we just need a three or higher to beat that. Let's see what we get. A five, we got it. We have successfully got it back. So uh, that stays what it is. The metal goes up by one. There we are. Okay, we've done our conquering income. Get two metal. Still one wealth. And I will spend both of those to get a military. Yeah, I've got three military. Uh, an event comes up, and it's plus one wealth. It's an asteroid giving us uh, some material we can sell, so it's plus one wealth. That's quite nice. Wealth for free there. Most of the events are bad. Some of them are good, like this, but most of them are bad. So, um, are we feeling brave to roll for the seven? It gives us plus one wealth. Uh, we've got a military of three, which means we need to roll four, five, or six. That's a 50 50 chance. Let's give it a go. Four. Add three is seven. We've done it. That comes in. That gives us plus one wealth on our income. So we're now making two wealth per turn. So we come to the income phase. Now we should get two metal, but I can't increase our storage any more than this because I haven't got Instilla Banking yet. Wealth, however, we can go up by two. We're at the max, but we don't have any more income for that. Now, it'd be nice to get some more military, but I can't do that until I've bought capital ships from technology. But we now have three in our wealth. And I really want to advance before beyond stage three, but I can't buy this technology until I bought this technology on the left. These upgrade. This is a first generation, this is a second generation. So first of all, I'm going to buy into species commerce, which is exchange two of one resource for one of the other, and that costs us two wealth. So wealth goes down by two. So we can now change two metal into one wealth, or two wealth into one metal, um, at the end of phase two, at the end of the income phase. Okay, so we're on to an event. Let's see, we've got year one, no event. Excellent. It's good for us. So let's try again. Let's do another planet. Resistance six. Uh, it doesn't give us any bonus, but now we've explored it, we have to try and conquer it. We'll roll the dice. It's a six. That's a, it says Bantz, but that is actually a six. We don't even need our bonus there, so we've eaten that one. Excellent. Back to income. Now we've got no more storage for wealth, so we can't increase that. We can increase, uh, sorry, our metal. We can increase our wealth by two. We can't exchange until after we've got our income, because the exchange from the commerce comes at the end of this phase. So they're maxed out now, but we can now buy our interstellar banking for three. So wealth goes down by three. Okay, we come to another event. It's a large invasion force against the last empire. So the last empire was resistance six, so we're going to roll for year one and add two to it. Oh dear, let's see what happens. Oh, it's a one! Add to the two is a three, doesn't beat the six. Excellent, so we don't lose that planet. That was very lucky. So let's go back and try and do some more conquering, shall we? Tau Seti, resistance four. Quite an easy one to beat, however it is also an easy one to lose. With revolts and etc. So let's see what we get. A four, so we've beaten that straight away, and we can have a seven with our addition. That joins our Star and Empire. Gives us one victory point, but no extra income, no extra production. So the production, now we have advanced beyond stage three. We can have two income for that, two income for that. And then, because of our interest to the species commerce, we can exchange two, two uh, metal for one wealth. We have three. Now we can buy something else if we want to. Now, we do want to try, if we want it, it would be quite nice to upgrade military, which requires capital ships, which is this one for three. Um, for two, we can get robot workers, which give us some production during a strike. Um, Hyper Television gives us an extra resistance during a revolt. But I'm feeling quite confident we, we want to do some more military, so let's buy capital ships for three, which costs all of our wealth. Get another event. And it is a revolt. Well, that could have been useful to buy Hyper Television in the end. Uh, the system with the least resistance, Tau Seti, had a resistance of four. 
the revolt gives plus one, so let's see. One plus one is two, we do not lose it, excellent. That was very lucky indeed. So there's one card left here, which is the, that'll be the end of the year, the year when we finish that. Let's explore again, shall we? So we have uh, Proxima, which is a resistance six plus one metal, that'd be nice. Now we've got three, we need three or higher on the dice to beat Proxima, let's see what we get. It's a six, excellent, so we've beaten that. That gives us plus one metal on our metal income. That's our phase, income phase. We've maxed out our production of metal now. Two on wealth. Now we can't afford three unless we convert. But we've had a revolt, so I'm wondering if we might want to do robot workers. Or we might want to increase our military. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll exchange two metal for one wealth. I'll get robot workers for two. One, two. And then I'll oh, sell so one wealth and one metal, and we can increase our energy to four. Now this is kind of building up to our forward star bases where we can start exploring the distant systems, which are eight, nine, and ten to beat, which are quite hard to beat. So we've done our income, we've bought our things, and the last event of the year happens. It's a derelict ship which gives us one metal. Lovely. Metal up by one. Here we go. So that is the end of year one. We have one more year. Put that card back in and we give it a shuffle. Quite a bad shuffle, and I've only got one hand. The other hand's holding the camera. Okay, so we do that, and then we discard two for the second year, so there are only six events, or six rounds as well for this year. So, event deck's ready. We're starting year two. Let's go for the last, note the penultimate, near planet. And its Cygnus of Resistance 5 gives us plus one wealth, that's quite nice. So let's see if we can beat Resistance 5. It's a 2, plus the 4 is 6, we beat it. Plus one wealth. There's our wealth income, up to there. Okay, that's that phase. Income phase, plus 3 on metal, we max out at 5. Plus 3 wealth, that's straight up to 3. Now I think what I will do again, I will sell 2 metal to get a wealth. And then I'm going to spend three for hyper television. One, two, three. And I'm going to spend a wealth and a metal to increase military up to five. Now, instantly, because it hasn't happened yet, what would happen if I lost a roll for a planet is the military would then go down. So you not only don't get to conquer the system, you also drop in military strength. And then you have to spend again, which is quite annoying. But it's going quite well for us so far. So, let's see what the first event of round two is, year two. It is a large invasion force. Now, we don't have planetary defences, which is this one here, so we don't get any extra boost from that. Um, but the last Empire system was Resistance 5, and in year two, our, it's our roll plus three is the decider. So, let's see what we roll. A two plus the three is five, we lose it, and we lose a wealth. Um, is that a, yes, a wealth income. Wealth goes down to two. Okay. So, phase again. I think I'm going to try and reconquer. Shall I reconquer that or shall I go for another one? What do you think? Let's well, let's reconquer it because that's quite nice having the wealth. So, we've got income of five, a military of five. We can want anything and we'll beat it. There we go, ten. So, we've beaten that. We get our wealth back. That's just annoying that we won't be able to explore the deck because we want to try and explore all of these because you get a bonus at the end of the, the game for that. Okay, let's do our income. Wealth up by three. Sorry, metal up by three, wealth up by three. Now, what do we want to... Do? Oh, there's no point getting any military, but I can now afford to either do... Um, I can buy interstellar diplomacy, which means the next planet conquered is free, which is very nice if you're doing a hard starship, a hard distant system. Planetary defences, which help against invasion. I've just had an invasion, so that's not very likely to come back up again. Or forward star bases. I'm going to go for forward star bases, which costs four. Now, I haven't got four, so in the previous phase, actually, what I'll do is convert two to one, and then I'll buy that for four, which is all the wealth. There we go. So I can now explore the forward star bases. So let's see what we get for our event. It's a revolt. Now, we have hyper television, which is plus one during a revolt. Um, but the event in year two, you'll see, is 
force plus three, and it's the system with least resistance, which is tau seti of four. So it's fairly likely we're going to lose tau seti here, so let's see what happens. Five plus the three is eight. Four plus the hypotension is five. We lose tau seti. So now that comes. Luckily, that doesn't lose us any production, but it loses us a victory point, which is quite annoying. Um, so back to the next round. So we can now explore forward star bases. We have a military of five. I'd have to roll high to get these, though. I think I'm going to explore the last one of these, which is resistance eight. It's going to be quite hard to see. Get that one. Should we see what we get? Four plus the five is nine. We need it. Okay, so all the near ones from Tau Seti here are done, but we get no uh, bonus um, production from that one. Never mind. So we get our income of plus three, so that's maxed out. Plus three here. Um, I'm going to exchange two for one. I'm going to buy planetary defences for four. That's all of that. Let's see what comes us here. Plus one wealth for the event. Excellent. Another wealth. So we're now onto the distance systems. We don't have to do a distance system, but I'm feeling lucky now, so let's see what we get. It's Canopus with a resistance of nine. It gives us plus one wealth and two victory points. So we've got a five. We need to roll four, five, or six. What do we get? A three. The first one we failed at. So that's unaligned, and we lose a military point. So let's go on to production. Up to the max of metal. One, two, three in wealth. Exchange a metal for a wealth. Five. We can afford our final technology, which is interstellar diplomacy. And this one, interestingly, is next planet is conquered for free. Very nice. So that's spent all of that wealth there. An event comes up. It's a revolt. We do have hypertelevision, we know. Systems with least resistance. Now, there are two with resistance five. Um, I'm not sure... I'm assuming we can just choose which one of those, but I'm going to go for the most recently discovered one that makes makes more sense thematically, I think. So, the revolt is plus two for year two, but we get plus one for hypertelevision. So let's see what we roll, first of all. Oh, we roll a one, plus the two is three. Easily below the five, so we keep hold of that. That's good, because that was a wealth production. So we're going to the explore phase again. Remember, we're going to get our next planet for free. Whatever this is, hopefully it's the ten, because that's the easiest. Yes, it is the ten. It gives us no production, but it's worth three victory points, and that's the hardest to beat. So we now have a um, distance system. is the galaxy's edge. Excellent, good. Income. Three for there, three for there. Nothing left to buy, but we can get a military, so let's buy a military. Back up to five. Another event. It's a strike. No resources next turn. But we do have robot workers, which means we get half of resources rounded up. Um, now, so I can remember that, I'm just going to put that event over here to remind me, because I never remember otherwise. So I think we should explore the last one, because we get a bonus point if we explore it. And it's Polaris, resistance 9, plus 1 wealth. So let's see, with our plus 5 there, if we can get 4, 5 or 6 to get that into our thing. It's a 4, plus the 5 is 9. We've done it. Now we haven't got those two, slightly annoying, but we do get plus one metal. So we're up to four metal now. Now we get income. That maxes out. That's plus one, two, three, maxes out. We would it max there, nothing to buy. We're completely full here. Oh, no, we don't get any resources. See, I forgot. So we get half resources. So let's just take that down. One, two, three. One, two. So we get half resources. So instead of four, I get two. So I get two anyway. Instead of three, I get one rounded up, so I get two instead. Nothing to buy anyway, so that doesn't have a huge effect on us. So this is the last event. This is the last card of the game then. It's an evasion force against the last Empire system. Now that's resistance nine. That's gonna to be tough. In fact, almost impossible it's impossible. I can only roll a six and that's plus two, which would be eight. And I have plus one anyway, so that's worth ten. For humor's sake. Gosh it was a six, look, it would have been an eight. But we have since of 9 plus 1 is 10, we keep on of that easily. So there is the end of the game. Let's pop those events all the way now. So now we score up. Victory points are listed. The home world has worth no victory points, but let's score up everything else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points from the planets. We get a bonus point for the fact we explored all the planets, that's 12. If we had conquered all of them, we'd get an extra VP, but we don't have that, so we've got 12 so far. We get 1 VP per technology we've researched, that's another 8, so that's 20. And we get 1, te uh, one virtue point if we've explored all of them, which we have, we've uh, discovered all of them, which is 21. I believe. 21 VP, that's a very good score. I very rarely got that high. Maybe it's my bounce dice from Flip the Table doing, doing me well. So there is a quick overview of Microspace Empire. Now there is an expansion for the game. These are the cards here for the expansion, which I didn't use. Um, these are also available on Board Game Geek. They had um, three new events, uh, which are quite nice, actually make um, metal um, useful. For the epidemic, you can spell one wealth or two metal to develop a cure for the event, or you l can permanently lose a system. There's a galactic alliance which increases your military strength by one, quite nice. And there's a meteor storm against the last empire system. If the system produces wealth or metal, you get no resources next turn. That's quite nasty. And then two new near systems as well. Resistance 7 plus 1 metal, resistance 6 plus 1 wealth. And what you do with those is you shuffle them into the deck, and then you just deal out 7 near systems for the game and the events you shuffle them to the event deck and you just discard um, no you count out seven cards for the first year and six for the second and that is my quick review thanks very much